What is good? How are you doing today? God is good. I hope that you guys can see me and hear me clearly because shalom, God is good. Go ahead and type down below where you guys are tuning in from, where you're tuning in from. Please let me know. Um, I can't necessarily read your comments right now because of a technical difficulty, but everybody watching will be able to see where you're tuning in from. And I think it's amazing to see people from Dubai, Ireland, Yugoslavia, China. They tap onto these lives that we do on this Instagram account. And it's just fire to see all types of people from all different types of places type where you guys are tuning in from. And it will be greatly appreciated. Either put the flag where you're from, where you're tuning in from. We're going to give you guys some Jesus content right now. Some real life, helpful Jesus content that can affect your day. But before we do that, let's do a little small talk. Got a little cafecito right here. Some coffee. Just enjoying Mother's Day with my bae. Stephanie to Jay, the God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Thank you so much for tapping in. But this is a live that I've been wanting to do for a while. So when you think about the fact, okay, let's just, have you ever seen the movie The Truman Show? The Truman Show. It has Jim Carrey as the main uh, person of the show, the main character of the, the movie. And it, so Jim Carrey, if you haven't seen it, um, if you have, bear with me for a moment. And I'm going to get to how this connects with the Bible in your day, in your life, in your moment right now. So basically, Jim Carrey is the main actor in this TV show. Or in this movie, right? But in the movie, he is the only genuine person. Everybody else is an actor. Everybody else is, is, is just pretending, okay? And they're trying to convince him that they're real. Or they do. They, they convince him that, that they're real. So he's in a TV show, but he's the only authentic person. And everybody else is acting. They're all actors. Everybody around him is an actor. But he's the only genuine, real, authentic person, okay? So that's this movie, The Truman Show, starring Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, he's a, he's a real person. Since he was born, he was bought by a, a TV show. And they just all, I guess, role-played and convinced him and gaslighted him to think that he was in a real world, that he had real friends, that this was his real wife. But everybody's paid actors around him. And it's such an interesting movie. If you haven't seen it, I would uh, highly recommend it. Uh, we just watched it like two nights ago. I even had my baby boy, uh, Dakota, watch it. And I just encourage everybody to go and see this movie. It's super interesting. But um, I started to think about how this movie actually relates with real life. Because Truman, that's Jim Carrey, he starts to see something fishy. It's like glitches in the matrix. He started to see people were like trying to keep him into like a little cage. They were trying to like conspire to make him do the same routine certain um, uh, in, in certain ways. And I'm not sitting here and telling you that you should abandon your responsibilities. No, I'm not sitting here and telling you that there's no beauty to routine. Psych um, psychologists have proven that. You know, having routines for yourself actually take away stress, helps productivity. You know, God loves order. God loves order. It's stewardship to have routine. But the fact that this dude was in a TV show and he was being mass gaslit by, you know, thousands of people was just evil. It was just evil. So the producer of this show on this movie, he was, he was basically this evil. And I, I liken him to the devil. Because he trapped this baby into this <clears throat> fake universe or this fake world where everybody's acting. Sorry, this flies or mosquitoes. But everybody's acting but him. So he had a fake best friend who was paid. He wasn't his real best friend. He was acting to be his best friend. He had a fake wife who wasn't his real wife. She was acting to be his wife. And basically this dude is like treating people like they're genuine people. Right. He's treating them like they're real, but they're acting for a TV show. And so 
Um, it comes to be there's like somebody who breaks through in the cast. She starts to realize that this is wrong, what they're doing to him. And so she tries to tell him, you're in a TV show. And I liken this to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit wants to let you know there's more to your life than what you can touch. There's more to your life than just the secular world that the devil wants to keep you in. There's more to your life than just, you know, worldly thinking, than just, you know, physical pleasure or sin. There's even more to existence than just this life. There's an eternal life. There's a supernatural life. Now, Jim Carrey has been given a tip from this girl that there is more to reality than just his town he's living in. That, in fact, his town is just a big act. And it's a big just production and so the devil wants to do that to you. The devil wants to do that to me. The devil wants us to think that the way that we were raised is all that there is. That sin is all that there is. That despair is all that there is. That death is all that there is. But Jesus defeated the grave. There's more to reality than just the bubble that we've been raised in. There's more than just what the whispering snake wants to tell us that there is. And so the devil was trying to, this guy... Right. His name was Christoph. He reminds me of Steve Jobs, the inventor of uh, the Apple products in the movie. That's his demeanor is kind of like that. He even has the little glasses and stuff. Um, but yeah, this guy who created this TV show trapped him. So the devil wants to trap us in a fake fantasy world where we're stuck in by gaslighting all around left and right, you know, <clears throat> And this guy, Christoph, is like the devil. He's telling all these people these different roles to play to keep Truman in his bubble. Now, the devil will try to speak to different people to try to get you trapped in a bubble. The devil will use people to, 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 like a puppet to try to gaslight you into a corner. You know, gaslighting is this term that is that it's this old term. And it basically means someone trying to convince you that you're crazy or someone trying to convince you that what you see, you don't really see. And it's actually very abusive. It's psychologically disturbing. It could try to keep people into different frameworks of life and mindsets that is away from reality. It wants to trap people, you know. And so you're in that. I'm in that. You know, the devil constantly wants to gaslight us. Now, one of the best um, examples of gaslighting in the movie is when Jim Carrey is about to um, escape. He wants to leave. He wants to leave this bubble of this life that the devil has tried to keep him in. Or I should say that Kristoff has tried to keep him in because Kristoff is a, is a weirdo. This dude, this inventor of the show is a weirdo. When you hear him at the end, he's talking about how I have watched you since birth. That's what the devil says to us. He, he says he has. The devil is real. There's people doing real rituals right now. There's people doing real Illuminati sacrifices right now to children for satanic power. The devil is real. The devil is real. There's people doing the worst things to other people to try to gain sick power in this world the devil is real and i'm not this guy who's gonna say everything is the devil you know some of my partners used to be like you know preaching on the enemy and casting out devils and you know they're they're really really big on spiritual warfare and like i used to be like yo chill out on that spiritual warfare stuff a little bit yeah the devil's real but the devil's defeated but it's true it's real you know in the more recent years i've awoken my eyes to the fact that yo jesus i I know Jesus is real for the past seven years. I've been serving him to the best of my ability, submitted to him for the best of my ability. Hey, thank you so much for purchasing a badge. I appreciate that. But like evil spirits are real, too. The devil is real, too. And so the devil <clears throat> basically like Christoph, right? He says, I've been watching you your entire life. That's what he said to Christoph at the end. But there's this scene where, where Jim Carrey, he's trying to break out. He's trying to break out of this uh, of this world. Hey, thank you so much for purchasing a badge, my bro, Keith. Hey, good to see you. I love you, dog. So basically, there's this scene where Jim Carrey, he's trying to break out. Um, he's trying to break out of 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 the environment, you know, and so that reminds me of. There's there's this thing about elephants. OK, and, and I'll, I'll get back to the Truman Show in a second. So they say that elephants, when they're babies, they'll stick their feet into the ground with a rope. Right. And they'll say that 
they'll basically, you know, train these elephants to believe that they can only go this far. They can only go this far, or as far as the rope will let them go. They walk, poof, they get pulled by the rope, so they can't walk anymore. They go, poof, poof. but when they start to get older, they just take the rope out. And now the elephant doesn't even try to leave. He just thinks, oh, this is all I can go. This is all I can go. So this is what the devil tries to do to us. And this is what Kristoff did to Truman in The Truman Show. Kristoff did to Jim Carrey. It's this actor who looked like Steve Jobs did to Jim Carrey. And it's what the devil tries to do with us. He traumatized him at a young age. So Kristoff traumatized Jim Carrey, Truman, at a young age with water. Okay? So when, 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 when Jim Carrey was a, a kid... Um, he was crossing over this ocean and Kristoff made a horrible storm, artificial storm happen. And <clears throat> Jim Carrey's dad in the movie allegedly died. So Jim Carrey was traumatized with water. That's what the devil tries to do to you. The devil tries to do it to me. The Bible said God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love and a power and a sound mind. But the devil wants to try to keep us paralyzed by fear of certain things. It could be connection with other people. It could be connection, you know, you know with, with, with a certain type of person. It could be all sorts of things that the devil tries to traumatize you with at an early age. So that way, when you get older, you won't be able to have healthy relationships and healthy, secure attachments or healthy just lifestyle or mindsets because the devil tried to traumatize you. So that's when I seen this movie, I seen that the devil tried to do that to me. You know, the devil tried to do that to me. And, and the devil tried to do that to me. And that's what I saw in this movie, The Truman Show. Kristoff did it to Jim Carrey. Now, when Jim Carrey was actually trying to leave, to go out and be, you know, in reality, basically that's like us, when we try to go out to be into who God called us to be, here come these traumas that the devil put on us at an early age. Here come these, these fears that the devil tried to put on us in an early age. So, nope, you ain't going to go to be who God wants you to be. Because remember what happened to you when you were a kid? No, you're not going to go and walk in confidence and security and trust in the Lord, despite what other people do. Because remember that storm that God, or excuse me, that the devil put you through when you were an adolescent. See, but Jim Carrey, you know what he did? He got to the point where he realized that it was fake. And that's what happens that moment when we're at church and we're at the altar. And who announces themselves to us? None other but King Jesus Christ announces himself to us. And that's what happened in the movie. This girl, she told him, yo, you're in a TV show. You're in a TV show, dog. And it wasn't until years later that he started to realize it himself. How many times did that happen? That happened to me. You know, Jesus Christ revealed himself to me when I was like 18. But it wasn't until I was like 25 or something when I was starting to realize that, yo, all that Jesus stuff is actually real. This Bible stuff, this the devil stuff, this sin, this righteousness stuff is actually real. So I'm like, bruh, I got to break out. I got to leave this world. I got to leave this world of, 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 of smoking marijuana. I got to leave this world of, of, of drinking alcohol. I got to leave this world. And so that's what I did. That's what I did by the help of the Holy Spirit. I, 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 I saw the traumas. And you know what? I went over the traumas. I saw the evil and I went over the evil, you know, <clears throat> by the grace of God. So that's what happened in, 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 the, in the show, The Truman Show, in the movie, The Truman Show. Jim Carrey, he saw that he was in a fake fantasy world and he was, he was done. He was done being fooled. He was done being tricked. He was done being gaslit. He was like, nah, what y'all telling me is not lining up with reality. The things that you guys are trying to show me is not lining up with what... With what reality is, with what God says. And if your environments are not lining up with what God says for Christ's sake and for our sake, for the people who need to see you walking in your God calling, you know, for the people who need to see you answering your calling, break out of those deceptions from the enemy. You know, break out of those fake worlds by the grace of God. And that's what Truman did. He got to the ocean and he was scared. But you know what? He was more scared to stay in a fake world than he was of the traumas. And we have to get to that point where we're more scared of staying in a fake world than we are scared of our traumas. We have to be more afraid of not facing our traumas than we are of the actual traumas. We have to say, you know what? I'm not going to live in a gaslit universe. I'm going to go and get to reality. And that's what he did. And you know what? When he did that, guess what happened? The devil waged all war on him so don't
be surprised if when you decide to answer the calling of God on your life, the devil comes after you like never before. It's going to be war. It's going to be storms. It's going to be hard. It's going to be all types of different things coming your way because the enemy is scared. It's like the children of Israel when they left Egypt. You know what happened? Pharaoh started to chase them because Pharaoh knew that God's hand was on them. They had so much gold that they had took it from the enemy. They wanted it back. They wanted to treat these people like slaves. And that's what the enemy wants to do with you. He wants to treat you like a slave. That's what Christoph wanted to do to Jim Carrey. He wanted to use him as his slave, as his puppet to make money off of him, to manipulate him, to use him, to gaslight him. But you know what? When you got a glimpse of Jesus Christ, when you got a sight of reality, there's a song in Spanish. It says, una mirada de fe, una mirada de fe. Una mirada de fe, una mirada de fe. It's like que puede salvar the pecador. It says, just one look of faith can save a sinner. I think that's what it says. I don't know. I could ask Stephanie if that's what it means, if that's how it says it. But it's something like that. Just one look. When you see a moment of freedom, when you see that you don't have to be tormented by spirits, when you see that you don't have to be tormented by sin, when you see that you don't have to live in a cage to the enemy any longer, God is going to give you a desire for the things of God. He's going to help you to break out of this gaslit, fake, sinful, evil, worldly world and leave it behind and walk toward the gates of heaven. Freedom, freedom, freedom in Jesus name. The Bible says where Jesus is, uh, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And I just pray for everybody watching that you could get a glimpse of God right now, that you could get a glimpse of freedom with Christ right now, that you don't have to be gaslit by the enemy. You don't have to be in chains of sin. You don't have to be in chains of evil and threats of traumas, that you can walk in freedom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so what happened was Jim Carrey, he got to the wall. And he had a last choice. Was he going to stay in the show or was he going to go to reality? And you know what? He went to reality. He went to reality. He broke out. And the girl who told him about reality, she came and met him. It, sh it shows her running. So that's how life is like the Truman Show. And I hope that you guys can see that and realize that and understand that in your moments, the enemy's going to try to gaslight you and scare you and trip you up with fiery darts to stay stuck into the world that he wants you to be in, to use you as his puppet. But there's a whole greater world that's called the kingdom of God. And it's where God has a perfect purpose and a plan for your life. He has freedom for you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. You're not here to be somebody else's entertainment, the devil's entertainment. You're here to let God use you as a tool for the kingdom of God. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over everybody watching. God, I pray that you would give them insight, God, to be able to see, God, that there is more than what the enemy says, with more than what the enemy has to offer, God, that there is more than what the enemy wants to say and try to convince us as, God. I just pray that you would just minister to them right now, God, that you would let them see a vision of themselves walking in freedom according to your plan, walking in freedom, God, according to the purpose that you have designed them for, Father God. I pray that if there's anybody dealing with any spiritual attacks, God, that you would bind and rebuke the enemy right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Father God, that you would, God, give people peace over the fiery darts of the enemy, Father God, that you would give people strength to be able to cross the oceans, where you want them to walk into their calling, Father God. I pray that people could keep you front and center on their minds and on their hearts tonight, God. And I pray that everybody watching could answer the calling that you have on their life, God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, you guys. If you guys have been blessed by this, man, praise God. I've been wanting to preach on this for a while. I might preach on this again in the near future. Um, Stephanie might join me and we, and we both preach on it because she had some good insights about how this was like the kingdom of God as well. So... Um, yeah, I was going to release this song on May 16th, Fires in the City, but unfortunately now we're not going to be able to. Um, we're going to uh, drop something else that day. Um, and if anybody is able to and willing to and wanting to sponsor the ministry, if you would go to Cash App, type in Money Sign, Sacred Music Tribe. That's the Money Sign, Sacred Music Tribe. $1 helps, $2 helps, $10,000 helps. Anything you guys can have to help us sponsor the ministry, we greatly appreciate it. Just trying to spread Jesus, just trying to submit to Jesus and let God use us. 
Um, I've been reading Psalms so much. I'm in the middle of uh, also this Jordan Peterson book, uh, 12 Rules for Life. But just um, just trying to answer God's calling and walk in God's calling. So thank you guys for tuning in. Super appreciate you guys. Again, if you guys would like to sponsor us, that's Cash App, Money Sign, Sacred Music Tribe. It's in my bio. We love you guys and we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Shalom.